last year, um, I received an email randomly, just from out of the blue, this um, Explore America, and they said, hey, would you ever be interested in taking kids to D.C.? And that's been a goal of mine. I, I went to D.C. as a junior in high school, um, just a fantastic experience, and, and I, I know the importance of bringing students to somewhere for learning happens exponentially more than the classroom. Um, I can throw a picture of the Capitol up, but it doesn't do it justice. You have to be in the rotunda. Um, so that had, that had been a lifetime dream of mine to bring students, um, so I jumped at the opportunity. Um, so those students were students who successfully completed um, the AP US History course and then who fundraised and um, were able to go to DC uh, with me in, in May. Part of the experience is connecting learning in the classroom to learning outside. And so we spend the entire year of American history learning about all these major laws um, from recent things like Great Society to even the Alien Sedition Acts. Um, so my students were very familiar with the effects that legislation has on their lives. Um, so part of that was um, in December, I wanted them to research um, issues that affect them personally. Um, and then either poverty, education, or racism that they experienced. And those were subtitles or subheadings that they created, something that they were interested in. Um, and then at the end of the year, after the AP test is done, we kind of have a couple weeks to really just focus as a class, um, have them come up with bills uh, with a partner that they would like to see passed at the national level that would affect their lives positively. They deal with every one of those every day. Um, I even deal with that as a teacher on the east side. I'll go to Walmart or Target or I'll be standing in line and have my Estacado shirt and um, there's a lot of assumptions that are made um, about this school. So it's something that we live with every day. It's something I've had to kind of learn. What, what, what is it like to, to live in poverty? What is it like to have racism be something that you deal with? Um, rather an overt racism or sometimes a, a small little thing you don't realize is racist um, but affects you tremendously.